Is this bloody bay just straight ahead of us? This yeah. is where we're headed into? Yeah. Cute. Yeah, so, uh, There's a lot of runoff, bro, so we're just keeping out for logs and shit. Yeah. There's a big river, right, that dumps into this bay? Previously on Delos, we had just done some great diving before entering this crazy bay. Is that you, bro, or did something hit the prop? <laughs> There's like a shit ton of logs coming in here. <laughs> oh my god. It's a legit tree. Yeah. Starboard! Yeah, we've been hearing on the news that there's been landslides and uh, flash flooding in the area, which explains how you can get some of these full size trees this far out into the bay. Like, that's a lot of water moving to uproot the tree and bring it down the mountain, right? Without it getting caught on rocks or anything. Okay, so me and Brady are gonna hop in the dinghy and do a recon mission with the duck sounder just because uh, it might not be that well charted in here by the looks of it. Okay, I don't think I wanna go in any further. So we're gonna get the hook ready here over. It's actually pretty good. Look at this. Ooh. Oh dear! And zoom to the footage. Look how sunny it is out here! It's so pretty! And first thing when we woke up this morning, we, uh, whoa, it's like really blasted out. We uh, took everything out of the cockpit that's been like soaking and smelling so bad, getting so stinky over the last week and hung it all up on Della. So <laughs> there's an interesting waft blowing backwards right now. Morning, Brady. Hi. How you doing? Sneezy? Yeah. Hey. Water's cleared up nicely, hasn't it? Yeah. Good day for chowing on some blue food. Today we are gonna go check out, it's called the Blue Food Festival. And it's a really big deal in Tobago. There's a type of vegetable here, or maybe it's like a root, I'm not really sure. Um, but it's called dasheen. And it looks kind of like a, like a big sweet potato. And when you cook it, it turns blue. Um, but this whole food festival is sort of dedicated to this dasheen. They treat a starboard. Yeah. I think we're gonna try and go up the river a little bit just to see what it's like. Actually, the river goes straight for the festival. Oh, it does it? Yeah. yeah. Even better. Cool. Back yeah. there. Oh, oh. oh rock. <laughs> We've arrived. Keep shaking, Tobago Blue Food Festival. Blue food is like a, a root food, like dashin. We cook it and eat it and we make different delicacy and products from it. Wine, corn, cake, kumar, bread, you know. Thank you, Dean. It was very nice to meet you. And you again. Who are you again? I'm Jordan. Jordan, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, nice you must come you. every time and all the time. Cool. I love Tobago so far. It's a wonderful country. So this is dashin with rum and like milk. So it's like a creamy rum. It tastes kind of like eggnog. It's really good, yeah. So what is, what is in that one, Jordan? 
It's like um, like bread with like coconut and dasheen. It's like a cake kind of. She called it roly poly. That's the name of the dish. Roly poly. You gonna try it, Brady? Good. They even have dasheen ice cream. What do you think about that? It's good. You don't I just got a nice slow roasted pork with cassava uh, dumplings, some manioc, and some dashin. This is the dashin. What you call it? I don't know, something. To me, it tastes like a lot of root vegetables that are mashed up and cooked, like manioc or cassava. It's good though. After stuffing our faces with all the different kinds of dashin flavors we could find, we had a quick dip in the river before heading back home to Delos. Well, it has been a very interesting two days in Bloody Bay and it's definitely been one of my favorite anchorages so far. It just feels kind of the most rugged and unexpected so ready to move on to the next one though we're gonna head over to space side we're gonna go around this corner we're gonna intend to anchor like right around here in the space side area and all oh. of this area is just diving so sweet should be cool yeah Getting around the north point of Tobago was a bit rough. We've been two miles away for the last hour because we're getting beat by ocean currents and wind. Every time we turn, the wind shifts and goes right in our nose. But we made it and even had time for a quick dive before sunset. Okay. I'm a little stunned from getting around that corner still. But yeah, this is gnarly, huh? Now we got it, now we're gonna go diving. What do you remember about this dive from last time, Kaza? It was really, really nice. Just like a lot of like corals, pretty strong current, just blast and, and just... Any thoughts, senior, in the moment? Yeah. Uh, these are the best chips I've ever had in my life. Yeah, they're really good. They're so good. Huh? This it was is really not a sponsored clip. Not <laughs> sponsored, but if you do, I'll let you boy. <laughs> that was really cool. As we were coming in, there was a, a dive shop over there, and they're waving at us, and they're telling us to come into the resort that the dive shop leaves from. Which never happens. They always want cruisers to stay away because we use their use their facilities and like stink up the place. But they seem really stoked that we were here, like waving us over. Now the boat's coming back. Actually, look at it. Coming back. Okay. Oh, they're gonna come tell us we can't dive. No. Did he? And he said hello, divers. Like you guys can't dive here or something, you know? They were like, "What's up?" <laughs> that is freaking awesome. They uh, there's two people on the boat there from Canada, and they must have just like recognized Stella's coming in and asked the dive boat to turn around and zip out here so they could say hi. And they said they wanted to buy some some brewskis, so we'll uh, we'll cruise in there later, and it'll be cool to meet them. <laughs> very very random and unexpected, though I must say. Here we go. Dab, dab, dab. One diver, two diver, three diver.
was a brush. It was a good dive, a lot of coral. The vis is still a little bit poor, but when you get down there, you can see a lot of light. So our anchorage is just in front of us at the little resort here. We're gonna try to anchor there. And normally we stay away from places like that because sometimes they don't like it for the guests. Like a bunch of boats are coming in, but they seem pretty friendly to us sailors over there. So nice. Brian's gonna go ahead and Got us in. check depths and make sure everything's okay. Maybe try there. Up right here. So what's going on? So, uh, YouTube superstars, SV Delos, uh, just happened to be right throwing, the, throwing the hook in the bay in Tobago where... Because we found them when we were coming up from our last dive. Because we came up from our last last dive and who was sailing by was SV Delos. So we so invited awesome. them for a beer and it looks like they're coming to join us for a beer. That's awesome. It is so awesome. That's awesome. For me, this is one of the absolute highlights of the Delos project, that we get to meet so many amazing people from all over the world in the most random places. Bernin, it's uh, been a pretty rolly night. But it's not raining, it's a clear day, so that's pretty exciting. Oh, the sun's just coming up. So last night ended up being pretty entertaining because after we anchored, we went into the resort right here and met up with the people that were kind of yelling at us from the dive boat here. And they're really cool. They're a bunch of Canadians that are here all on a dive trip together. Um, they're all a part of the same dive shop up there and they just go on big dive trips. So I think they have like almost 30 people with them and um, James and Allison, uh, we hung out with them. They're really, really cool. And then the owners of the dive shop, um, Paula and Dean, they've dove kind of all over the world. So <laughs> we, we definitely got into some interesting conversations last night with them about like gear and diving in different spots and all kinds of, of things. So it was really, really, really cool to chat with them. But I'm just so happy that it's sunny right now. <laughs> it's such a different experience to wake up and just be able to come out on deck and watch the sunrise and not have everything be all stinky in your room and in the cockpit. And um, of course conditions for diving are going to be a lot better today. So I'm definitely glad we're back over here. And I think it's just going to be a few days of pretty intense dive, 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 uh, which is awesome. I mean, that's really why we came back here is to, to spend as much time in the water as possible. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. I woke up a lot last night with the rolls. You're in the comfy zone. Yeah. I like to get in this corner with all these pillows and jump out of Has the left tunnel cheating you guys? Is it comfy? Mm. It's pretty good. I'm like in a, a shelf, pretty much, so I'm like secure back here. <laughs> Keeps <So>. me wedged. <laughs> Safety bar. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Just check me in. <laughs> Rolling. Rolling. Okay, so yesterday we came around the corner. So this is Little Tobago. This is Goat Island. Take time to and we are just nestled right in there. All these dive sites around here, which are literally like a short dinghy ride. How about this glorious day, Brian? It's a gorgeous day. We're gonna head out uh, 
to a point just on Little Tobago while well, there's pretty cool bottom topography, like a little drop off, and hopefully we can sort of take the current to drift us along the reef up towards a dive called Cathedral. Today we've got six divers and six sets of gear all piled up for Maggie. It's a lot. Hey, they do and do. Jordan then found this really intact lobster shell and decided to adopt it. When lobsters grow, they molt their shell to make room for their bigger bodies. In its lifetime, it may shed its shell as many as 25 times. Young ones change quite often, while older ones, like this one, may only change every year or two. within the first few minutes of being it down. He's and curious. I had it like strapped in <laughs> under my BCD like he was like my little my little buddy. She's an interesting <laughs> girlfriend. His name's yeah. Pickles. Is his name Pickles? Oh, the dead yeah. That afternoon we spent a few hours editing videos at the hotel and got an amazing invite. Kaza, where are we going? We gonna go at night diving. We were in for a real treat. The amazing dive group we met last night had rented a boat for the whole week and was going over to Little Tobago for a special night dive. And they invited us to come on their boat and we don't have to pay anything. So the Delos tribe hooks us up again. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thanks guys. And they're even Exciting. giving us tanks so we don't have to pump the tanks after. Yes. <laughs> Exciting. Diving in luxury today. I know, crazy. right? <laughs> Big old fancy boat. What do you love about night diving? Right when you go down under the surface, like everything else disappears and you just are only focusing on like what's exactly in front of you. And those things come out at night. And so it's really cool to see, you know, things moving around the reef instead of hidden in their little holes. And um, yeah, she makes it for some good filming. Okay, so we are on our way out to the dive 
sites. We don't really know where we're going, but it is a beautiful evening and the sky is like all pink and dark blue and I love night dives, so I'm really, really excited. Um, I love shooting macro and I definitely find that some of my favorite macro shots of all time that I've ever gotten are at night because you just tend to see like a lot more like weird, strange, tiny animals. So I can't wait and I don't think it's a very long ride to the dive site so I should probably start getting ready. Alright, so we are on our way down and I can just barely start to see the bottom. critters get attracted to the camera light. At some point, Brian had a whole cloud of worms, small fish, and other weird creatures surrounding him. night dive couldn't get any better. This squid showed up and was super chill in front of the camera. We catch our own food and get swarmed by bats. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm getting the shot! So this could be on a thousand ways to die or something. 
drop weights to your ankles and go down. Yeah. Try and drink beer underwater. I don't even get fresh baked bed at home. Wait. <laughs> break bed. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is hard to say words. Your name is Senor, not Senior. Wow, well, I sat down next to my name. <laughs> God, every time I look over, there's a dick. <laughs> what? Hey, just save that D in your wetsuit to warm up when you go down. No, no, I gotta go let it go. I don't pee in my wetsuit. Yeah, okay. I don't do that. Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I like it a lot. <laughs>